Hello friends and welcome to this Terraform basic. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the depends on meta arguments. So we previously also discussed several meta arguments. Now this in particular video, we are going to discuss on the depends on meta arguments. So these all meta arguments count for each life cycle we already discussed and this particular video we are going to depend, discuss on the depends on meta argument. So what is the meta argument? The meta argument will tag with the uh, resource. Okay, so it's changing the behavior of the resources. Means uh, how the resources is we are uh, in, the, in, the, in the infrastructure. How the we are creating the resources? It's uh, changing the behavior. You can see for the resources. So in this uh, particular uh, depends on meta argument, we are going to take the example of the elastic IP. Okay, so why we required uh, this meta argument to change the behavior of the resources? Sometimes Terraform cannot automatically infer the dependency between the resources. Some are hidden, uh, hidden types of dependencies that uh, needs to be uh, you declared in the declarative way. You have to define. Like uh, suppose you want to create elastic IP, that elastic IP will be associated with the instance. Okay, and that. Uh, instance should lie in the public uh, public uh, subnet okay and uh, that part particular subnets uh, will have a route table which have the internet gateway so internet gateway needs to be created first uh, okay so the elastic ip can be attached because I, elastic ip is very costly and if the users not able to access that particular ip from the uh, public domain from the internet then uh, what is the use of associating that particular uh, elastic IP with the instance so this is our use case for this particular depends on so and we are going to understand it so for this I created a VPC in uh, architecture okay so we created uh, uh, the code uh, to just build a VPC to to you to have a better understanding on this particular topics okay but for the VPC, uh, I will bring uh, another video in which I will first uh, give you a highlight by creating a VPC in a AWS environment using the AWS console itself. Okay, so that you can understand it how we can create a VPC and what were, are the dependency, what are the resources that have the dependency with the uh, VPC. So we will create a VPC, assign a CIDR net inside that we create a the public and private and subnet and create a route and uh, attach a route and uh, create a route table and then attach a route and then that particular route table get assigned uh, to that particular subnet so you can see all the uh, things in a bigger picture and the similar things we can uh, do it with through the code also so i'm currently in the writing phase of that particular uh, codes but for the dependent for the uh, to, for to give you a uh, better understanding on the depends on this is a very good example that you can understand you can see from the code that the we created the resource elastic ip and this is associated with the uh, instance okay that instance we have in the public um, uh, sub uh, vpc okay sub sub public uh, subnet and that particular id we are assigning it to the uh, associating it with the eip but, but that it is depend on the uh, AWS internet gateway. So internet gateway should be created first. Okay. And then the elastic IP will be created. Okay. Uh, so you can see in the console when we create uh, applying the command here from apply command. And then you can see that how the things will go on. Okay. So I'm moving to the lab session. Okay. So understand you give you a better understanding. So this is the VPC. Uh, I will give you a complete picture just in a brief. Uh, I will come come back on the VPC video for all these things and will I am going to enhance uh, these particular things as well. So this is the PEM key. Okay. And uh, this is the issue to instance. Uh, you can see that I am using the variable for the getting the ID, image ID and the, all the variables we have here. Uh, here we have the uh, elastic IP and here we have the depends on functionality that is associated with the internet gateway. So internet gateway should be created first. And these are the providers and you are already familiar with the and for the reason I am using the Mumbai region, AB South uh, one. 
and for the resources this is very interesting and i will come back again uh, on this particular topic in more details but for brief understanding you, you can understand it that i created a vpc then this is the internal name and assign a cid in also tag it then for the name of the vpc then i created a subnet Okay, this is the public subnet. How we can identify it as a public subnet? A route table get assigned with this, uh, the the particular subnet have the internet gateway route. Okay, so uh, I will give you more details on this, but for time being, you can understand. This way, we can understand that this is the public because th that particular uh, subnet will be accessible. Uh, or the resources lies in, inside that particular um, subnet is accessible to the public okay and the private subnet we don't have the internet cable, uh, route assign that particular route tables that is associated with the private uh, subnet and in this way that particular resources that lie in the private subnet will not able to access uh, publicly uh, uh, publicly from outside the world but uh, for uh, uh, for some binaries to get downloaded into the private subnet resources we can you assign uh, a NAND gateway so we, we are going to see all these things uh, in in a few in a uh, coming video so this is the internet gateway i created an internet gateway for in the in, inside that particular vpc i am assigning that particular uh, tagging here so you can see that um, I am just associating that particular VPC ID and assign a tag. Uh, this is the name of the VPC, the Internet Gateway. And, and then I created the route table and the route table have the is created for that particular VPC, which we are creating here. The name of the VPC is VPC dev. OK, so I'm assigning all the initial, initial name with the VPC dev so that you can understand it and said that we are creating this for the this is not the default uh, vpc we are creating for our use and this is the route we are assigning the route this is the internet gateway have the open cidr because uh, from the public domain any from they can hit from the any ip so this is the cidr this is the open you can say it's all for open for the all all of the ips i assigned the gateway id here okay internet gateway id here then we associate uh, associate that particular route table with the subnet okay that we already discussed uh, that this required to uh, access the resources from uh, from the public uh, subnet okay and then we created the security groups because we have to allow if someone wants to access uh, for, to get uh, access for the ssh port so i currently open it for the public uh, to get uh, access using the ssh port and uh, um, HTTP people uh, http and um, at port okay for the public domain and uh, th this is the uh, uh, you can say address the outbound traffic this is the inbound traffic to that particular instance and this is the outbound traffic so this particular things is associated with the uh, uh, subnet okay so these all things we um, created and this is the main uh, uh, things that we need to understand that in, depends on this is the resource okay the elastic ip and we created a depends on meta argument and associated with the internet gateway so uh, when the internet gateway get, gets created then only the uh, elastic ip gets created and associated with that particular instance uh, so uh, this is our main agenda uh, for this particular session and, and i think you have a better understanding that okay how that depends on mm -hmm. sometimes uh, you have the uh, you have the all the logic means you put into the code but there is some runtime error or logical error logical error you can say uh, that you can understand when your applications run so these types of things you have to instruct to the terraform in a declarative way that uh, create um, elastic ip because elastic ip is chargeable and uh, you cannot uh, assign elastic ip uh, to that particular instance which is not publicly accessible this is not a good practice so that's why i uh, added these particular things uh, to just uh, in a declarative way just to uh, give you a good example Okay, so now I'm going to git pass. Uh, I'm currently I'm in the Terraform VPC folder. Okay, this is the VPC folder. Okay, so I'm going to initialize it. Once uh, it's initialized, it will uh, initialize and then the, 
and it's going to download the plugins the required plugins for that particular uh, provider i'm using the aws so it's uh, uh, downloading the aws binaries uh, so that it can interact through the api uh, for all the providers i already discussed in my past video you can ready for my, for more details okay so terraform validate this is the good practice to validate all these things if you have any syntax error uh, it will complain so all things looks good and uh, it's also required to using practice to form it as well so nothing to all thing is aligned okay therefore uh, I would say look into the plan So this is going to create a lots of resources because we are we are uh, taking the example of depends on by creating the VPC. So definitely you can see that it's adding the nine resources. Okay. So I will say see, see look into it all the things by one. If in a fast way, the the EIP you can see the EIP will be created. Okay. Uh, in the VPC, VPC is true. I we already add the added that particular flag. You can see the VPC is to, uh, in the VPC region with elastic IP needs to be created. Okay, then it's creating the uh, the, the EC2 instance. Okay, uh, then the EBS volumes will be get attached with all the information internet gateway. So um, the, uh, you can see that it's a, this is the plan that how many resources get created, but EP, EIP will be created after the uh, internet gateway. With, this we will see when we apply that particular trailer form okay so this is the just a plan so it's uh, rendered all the resources that we are going to create the route okay the the associations the securities group so all the things are in place okay i am happy with the plan so i will give the auto approval data form uh, apply we are going to apply with auto auto approval because I already happy with the plan. So uh, if I uh, not uh, provide uh, our auto approval, then it will again ask for the confirmations and the same plan will get rendered. So now you can see that the VPC, first the VPC gets created, then the internet gateway. You can see here the internet gateway created. Uh, till yet here, uh, there is no elastic IP. The elastic IP come into the picture later. Okay. So you can see the instance is creating. Okay, the route association has been done. We have to wait for a few seconds. Now it's uh, starting creating the uh, the AWS uh, EC2 instance. Okay. Now you can see that the, it's creating the the EIP and then associated that EIP with the EC2 instance, okay, in a particular VPC. So you can see that it uh, came at the last because it have the depends on, okay. So it will check and create first first all the resources, then uh, it will look into that uh, that which particular um, resources we need to create that have the depends on features, okay. Now you can validate it as well. So currently we don't have any EC2 instance the Mumbai reason. Let me refresh it. Okay, so now we have the EC2 instance gets created. Okay, and we have the security groups as well here. Uh, this one, VPC dev, because we have the VPC with the name VPC dev and we use that particular tag as a prefix all the places. Now I'm going to the VPC. We must have the VPC gets created. Okay. So you can see the two VPC. And this is the VPC. This one is the default one. Okay. So default VPC, this is yes. And this is the no. Because we created it for our use. This is the not the default one. Okay. Subnet. We created with the with the public subnet. We created because we assigned it to the route table which have the internet gateway. Okay, the the subnet ID you can see it's also get assigned. It's assigned with the VPC that we created just now. 
with this particular CID arrange and have available IP this much in the AP South 1A and have the route table okay so I am clicking on this particular route table you can go from this particular link out as well but this will give you a better picture okay so you can see the route a route I assigned two routes I assigned one is the internet gateway so route is assigned with the route table okay and uh, this is the, for the local for the internal use of the VPC so this uh, this automatically get assigned you don't have to do anything for this uh, but uh, this uh, you have to uh, provide it uh, this is assigned with the with the pub instance with the public uh, private also but in the private uh, route uh, this is not um, we will not provide it because the private um, subnet we don't want uh, the resource to be get access from the publicly okay so this this is the things and um, this is a good example to understand the depends on now i'm going to yeah, just uh, destroy the resources it's always good practice to destroy so it's not asked for the confirmations and the resource will get destroyed what we created using this particular data form So you can find all the things uh, have the minus sign because it's destroying all the things previously when we created we have the plus sign okay so it's destroying minus all the place you can find the minus sign it means that it's destroying the resources so one by one uh, it's, it will destroy all the resources that we created just now so i will come back uh, again with a complete uh, video of the vpc where we uh, create a vpc by using the aws console manually so that you can un understand the architecture of the tpc and then we will do the things with the terraform the, with the terraform managed code and then we will uh, see how we can enhance that particular vpc uh, uh, using uh, meeting our uh, organization need the current organizations using using the several resources and then we will also look into the how we can robust uh, our infrastructure core uh, and uh, soon i am going to deliver the uh, more videos on the on the terraform like modules and the functions and all these things which is pending at my end so uh, thanks for watching this video uh, and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends as well uh, this will motivate me and keep watching, keep learning. Thank you. Have a nice day.